In this tutorial, we will use texture painting to add details to the normal map of a 3D model. Before we paint the normal map, we will model the detail we want to add as a 3D asset. On this cube, the screw heads are not mesh geometry, but normal map details we painted. First, I will quickly model the screw head. As it's important to understand, you can create any normal detail you like by first modeling the 3D geometry so it can be converted into a normal map texture that you can then use for texture painting. Your model can have very high geometry, as we only use it to generate the normal data. However, it's important that the topology is well laid out. As we use the mesh to create a UV map to generate a normal map as our texture brush. Now we have the screw detail, we need to create a UV map. If we select all the faces of the mesh, we can see the UVs do not match the shape of the screw head. With the mesh selected, go to the UV menu. Make sure your viewport is looking down onto the object. Then select Project from View. Now the UV matches the view and shape of the screw head detail. Select all the UVs and scale and position to fill the UV area. Now add a new material to the 3D object. Add an image texture node. Select color and set the alpha to zero. Select render settings. Switch the render engine to cycles. Scroll down to bake. Switch bake type to normal. Switch space to object. Make sure the image texture node is selected. Now select bake. After baking, we have the normal map of our detail. Now we'll add a plane to test the normal map. Add a new material to the plane. Add a image texture node and a normal map node. From the image texture node, select the normal map image. We just baked. To see the effect of the normal map, you must be in viewport shading material preview or render view. Now we know our normal map is working, we will bake it once more. But this time we will use a higher resolution with an alpha background. Select the image texture node and select the new image option. Set the resolution to 2048. Select color and set the alpha channel to zero. We can see that the image texture is now transparent. Under the Bake settings, uncheck Clear Image. Select Bake. The normal map is now ready, so we can now save it. Now we'll texture paint onto our objects. I will add a new material to this cube. Now switch to Texture Painting. Under Texture Slots, select the plus sign, then select Normal. Blender has added the image texture and normal map nodes to our material. We now need to add the normal map detail we created as a texture brush. Select the texture drop down and select new. Select the texture icon from the tool options. Then select open to load our image texture. Now you can use the screw head detail as a brush. Set the mapping to stencil. Press and hold down the right mouse button. To move the stencil brush image into position, then simply paint over the stencil area you wish to transfer onto the object. You can also use the blend brush to smooth the edges if needed. Let's try painting our detail onto a more complex surface, a sphere. Add a new material. 
Under Texture Slots, select the plus sign, then select Normal. If your normal is not painting correctly, make sure your brush color is set to white. As you can see, we are able to perfectly paint the screw head onto the sphere. If we look at the sphere's normal map in the UV view, you can see that texture painting the detail has deformed correctly to match the sphere's UV map. This is one of the benefits of texture painting our normals. Note normal maps are best used to add only fine details. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe to Chaymakes. Thanks again.